I like to wash my hands. I understand, I'm not sure. All right, I, okay, my name is Karit. I'm second year medical student. I've been asked to come examine your wrist. I understand you have wrist pain in your hands. Okay, which hands may I ask? Actually, both of the hands. Both of the hands. Sorry to hear that. Okay, so in the course of my examination, I'll be looking at your hands, all right? I'll be touching your hands, and I'll also be asking to do some movement with the hands, all right? I may have to tap on your hand as well. If I cause you any pain, please let me know and I'll stop. All right? Yeah. So before we start, I'd like to get a pillow. We well, have a pillow. And I'd just like to place the pillow on your thighs, all right? So put your hands on the pillow, all right? All right, so you can see that I'm holding on this way, pillow. Okay. So at this moment, I'd like to request the patient vitals. Vitals are stable. Vitals are stable, that's fine. I move to general inspection. General inspection, patient is sitting comfortably, all right, at rest. Not in any respiratory distress, but seemed to be in slight physical distress because of pain in both hands. The patient did not shake me when I came because of pain in his hands, all right? Now, more focused inspection, looking at the hands, all right, hands on the pillow. I don't see any scars. I don't see any bruise or erythema. I do not see any, turn your hands this way. I do not see any atrial feel of the muscles of the hands, the tena and the hypotena, eminence. I do not see any wasting of the muscles of the forearm. Right? And turn again. I do not see any bony deformities. With regards to bony deformities, I do not see any nodule. There's no hepatitis nodule at the distal at the phalanx. There's no um, butchard nodules at the PIP joint. I do not see any nodules in the what? MCP joints. Right? Right, so. Any? Okay. Just check again, when you see your pain, both, which side is that pain? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I cannot okay. bend it. Oh, sorry. Okay. Alright, so no nodules, no scars, no bruising, no deformity. Alright. Around this, and the hands are symmetrical. Okay. Alright, so I'm just going to just move over here and move to palpation. I'm going to touch your hands right now. Alright, I'm going to try to be very gentle. Okay, I know it's like the pain that you have already started with. Alright, so just turn around again. Turn it around, turn both around. Alright? So I'm just going to feel around the, each of the joints. Checking with the EIP, looking at the patient's face. Any pain? Checking the EIP. Any pain? Checking the MCP. Any pain? Now I'm going to move on to check the thyroid process. Any pain? And then the base of the tongue. Oh, sorry. The patient has pain at the base of the right tongue. Alright? I'm going to print the same thing on the left. Alright? So checking the EIP, EIP. Checking MCP, checking the thyroid process, and the base of the left arm. He has patient has bilateral tenderness at the base. So you have to say the patient has bilateral as both hands, tenderness on palpating the base of what? Both tongue. Alright? Maybe a median nerve injury, but we'll find out. Alright. So now still here, I'm going to check the capillary real feel. Alright, so just go press your finger. The capillary real feel is less than three seconds on the right. And again for the left, the capillary real feel is less than three seconds. Since I'm right there, I might as well just go ahead and just check for the pulse. For example, put my here, alright? I know I'm not following the order, but I'm just trying to complete check this. Pulse is 60 beats per minute, normal volume, regular reading. Okay. Alright, so so far, patient, so so far, you can always tell me that to rephrase your mind. So far, patient vitals have been stable. Alright, in inspection, I did not see any abnormality. And then I went ahead to check for um, the pulse. This time around the P, I went for, I went to palpation. On palpation, there was tenderness at the bilateral base of both tongue. Alright? I went ahead to check for pulse and the pulses were normal. So I'm yet to check now for what? Range of motion and also for sensations. So for range of motion, I just want you to just please cock your waist up like this for me. Alright? Don't let me push it down. Alright? Same thing, don't let me just push it down. I push on down. Alright? I push down. Good dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. Spread your hands out for me. Now I'm going to try to close it, don't let me close it, try to let me close it, alright? Same thing, don't let me close it, alright? I'm going to get a piece of paper and put it between each. So the paper is in, alright? Ten fingers, don't let me draw it out, alright? Good. Same thing, don't let me draw it out, okay? Turn around like this, alright? Don't do root, alright? Bend your thumb like this, okay? Again, out back. Now do your fingers like this, and then do the stuff you see, alright? Now, fingers close. Right, so that's good range of motion. I'm going to, now I'm going to do power while I'm in that. So, put my, open your hand out. My finger is in, squeeze my finger. Don't let me pull it out, don't let me pull it out. Okay, that's good, let it go. Again, turn to the roof, bend your like this. Alright, don't let me push it up. Alright, don't let me push it up. Alright, that's good. Okay, that's good. 
So are you feeling any tingling? Do you feel any tingling or any weakness? Yes, anyway? I feel the tingling. Yeah, yeah. So okay, the baby has to be here. Yeah. You can't have tingling here yeah, because you're in pain. Yeah. Which I think you will get. Alright, so you have tingling on this side. Alright. Okay, that's fine. So the patient has tingling on the distribution of the media neck area. I would like to do a sensation. Check for sensation. Alright. So this is the cutting wall. Alright. This is how it feels. Alright. So you close your eyes and tell me whether you feel it right here. Now go touch around your touch around your fingers. Alright? So do you feel that? You feel it too? You feel that? Little as well feels the same? Yes. The exam day, he will say no. He doesn't feel them. Alright? So repeat your exam day. Do you feel that? No. You feel that? And Tom? No. Moving to the first index. You feel that? No. It's three and a half finger the median there. What? No. Second of middle finger? Yeah. yeah. No. Three and a half. No. No. Yeah. Three and a half. Three and a half. No. Three. no. And then, yeah, do you feel that? No. Do you feel that? No. All right, do you feel this? Yes. Yes, and you feel this? Yes. All right, for completion's sake, do you feel this? Yes. And this? Yes. All right, so there's lots of sensation in the first three and a half of the finger. We preserve sensation in the lateral. There's lots of sensation in the lateral three and a half fingers. We preserve sensation in the, in the one and a half finger on the honor side. All right? All right, so. Thank you. Now I want you to do some. I would like to do some uh, some special test. So I would like you to do like this, like your brain. Spread your hands out. That hurts. Yes. Where does it hurt? Around the base of the tongue. Yes. Sorry. So do this one as well. Out. Okay. okay. Sorry. Now turn your hand, I guess. All right. I'm just gonna tap on it. Yeah. Alright. Okay. And then. It hurts. Okay. Sorry, sir. So the the patient on the brain test. I'm doing this test, I'm doing this test, which is the Fallin test, it was positive, meaning the patient had pain upon dorsiflexion of the what? The wrist. Alright? Tennis test means tapping on the wrist. Alright? I tapped on the base of the tongue area and the patient also had pain. Alright? These findings together, positive Fallin sign, positive tenial sign, alright, suggest a likely Plus the lock, last loss of sensation in the three and a half fingers, plus three digits, plus three and a half digits, loss of sensation there, plus the positive signs suggest that it might be a media nerve injury. All right. I would like to finish my examination by checking for reflexes in the upper limb. I would like to actually even do a full neuromuscular examination of the upper limb and the lower limb, as well as a neck examination because the brachial plexus starts in the neck. All right. I would also like to also examine one joint and the one joint below. Right, I would still like to examine fully the left hand upper limb as well and left hand. All right, and I would like to end my examination by doing some other special tests, like because this is a nerve injury that was suspecting, I would like to do a nerve conduction study. I would also want to rule out the possibility that there may be trauma and fracture of the ribs, uh, oh, sorry, of the wrist. So I want to order an X-ray of the what of the wrist. I want to order an X-ray of the wrist as well. Okay. How would you want to treat this patient? Well, I want to minimize movement in the wrist, so I want the patient to wear a tongue what? A wrist splint, or a tongue sticker splint, all right, to minimize movement. For the pain, I would like to give some NSAID like ibuprofen painkillers. If that doesn't work, I also like to give injection of steroids into the wrist as well, okay? What if that still doesn't work? Well, I would like to refer the patient also to physiotherapy, and if that's, everything doesn't work, Surgery, the surgery. Okay. All right. So what do you think is the diagnosis? I've already said my lateral diagnosis is carpal tunnel syndrome. My lateral carpal tunnel syndrome due to injury of the media nerve. What are likely causes? It could be trauma from the fall of an outstretched hand. There are many other causes like hypothyroidism, obesity, pregnancy. Many causes that could make that things that can irritate the pleasure in the colon or increase pressure on the media nerve in that area. Thank you. So, thank you, patient. You cannot shake. You have not taken pain yet. Uh, thank you for thank you for your time. Right, thank you.